So hi guys, Mayong Adlaw. Welcome to Nuts Math TV. So for today's video, my presentation is about finding the nth term of a geometric sequence. In my previous video, I had presented to you about finding the common ratio of a geometric sequence which is denoted by a small letter r. So this time, we will have finding the nth term of a geometric sequence which is defined by this formula. So we have a sub n equals a sub 1 times the r raised to n minus 1, where our a sub 1 is our first term. The same, our a sub n is the nth term or the last term. Then we have our r as the common ratio and n is the number of terms. So we will be using this formula in finding the nth term of a geometric sequence or the number of terms or the common ratio given a sequence or given a geometric sequence. So we will try this example number one. We are given negative 2, 4, negative 8, and positive 16. We are going to solve for a sub 7, which is the seventh term. So by using this formula, we will be solving for the seventh term given this sequence. But first things first, we need to identify what are the given. Okay? So we start with our a sub 1, which is equal to negative 2. Our a sub 1 is negative 2. Then our a sub n, or this time we have a sub 7, is unknown. a sub n, which is our last term, which we consider a sub 7 as our last term because we need to solve for our a sub 7, or which is our a sub n. Then our n here is, of course, since that is a sub 7, so this is 7. And our common ratio is, how do we get the common ratio? So I already have presented in my previous video how to get the common ratio of a geometric sequence. So we just simply divide 16 divided by negative 8, which is negative 2. Negative 8 divided by positive 4, which is still negative 2. And 4 divided by negative 2 is also negative 2. So therefore, our common ratio for this given sequence is negative 2. So we now have this given. Let us now substitute this given to our formula. So a sub n, we need to use a sub 7 because we are to solve for a sub 7. So we write a sub 7 equals our a sub 1 is of course negative 2. So we write negative 2. Then our r is also negative 2, so that is multiplied to negative 2, raised to our n, that is n minus 1, n is 7, so we write 7 minus 1. So this is now our equation. Afterwards, we simplify this equation. We will have 7 minus 1 is, of course, 6, so we have copy negative 2 times negative 2, raised to positive 6. Then this time, do not multiply negative 2 and negative 2 here. We need to simplify first the exponent. That is negative 2 quantity raised to 6. So we copy negative 2 times negative 2 raised to 6. That means we multiply negative 2 6 times. That means negative 2 times 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 negative 2. So, that would give us positive 64. So, negative 2 raised to 6 is positive 64. This time, we multiply negative 2 times 64. So, our a sub 7, therefore, is negative 128. This is now our 7th term. The 7th term for the sequence, negative 2, 4, negative 8, 16, and so on, until the seventh term, which is negative 128. Now, let's proceed to our next example. Second example, we are told to find the sixth term of a geometric sequence 1, 3, 
9, and so on. This time, we are going to solve for the sixth term. In this case, that is a sub 6. So we need to solve for a sub 6. So identify what are the given. Our first term is a sub 1, which is in that case we have 1. Then our n is of course, since a sub 6, we need to solve for a sub 6. So our n is 6. Then we have our common ratio. So how to find a common ratio is divide. 9 divided by 3 is, of course, will give us 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So therefore, our common ratio is 3. Then afterwards, using this formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Instead of writing a sub n, we use a sub 6. Then our first term is, of course, 1. Substitute 1. Then our common ratio, which is the R here, is 3. Then raised to 6 minus 1. So we simplify, we have 1 times 3 raised to 6 minus 1 is of course 5. We copy 1 times. Then we have... 3 raised to 5 is 243. That means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So we multiply 3 5 times. That would give us 243. Then lastly, we multiply 243 times 1 is of course our A sub 6 is 243. So the sixth term for this sequence 139 until a sub 6 is 243. Next, our third example. What term is 1215 in a geometric sequence? Negative 5, 15, negative 45, and so on. Now, we are given the last term which is 1215. 1,215, and we are going to solve for the n. What term is 1,215? So, let's identify our given. So, we have our last term, which is a sub n is 1,215. This is a sub n because this is our last term. We just do not know what is the value of our n here because we still have to find the value of n. For the location of term 1215 in this sequence. So our first term is given a sub 1 which is negative 5. Then our common ratio we divide negative 45 divided by 15 which is negative 3 and 15 divided by negative 5 is also negative 3. So therefore our common ratio is negative 3 and of course our unknown is our n. The location of 1215. So using the formula that is a sub n equals a sub 1 times the r raised to n minus 1. So since we have the last term which is 1215, so we will change a sub n that will become 1215 equals our first term, in this case our first term is negative 5, so we write negative 5. Then our r, which is the common ratio, is negative 3. So we write negative 3. Since we are going to solve for n that is unknown, so we write n minus 1. And this time, since the operation between negative 5 and negative 3 here is multiplication, what we need to do is just simply divide both sides of the equation by negative 5 to cancel out the negative 5 here. So this becomes negative 5 cancel out, divide negative 5. So we cancel out negative 5 here. Then we divide 1215 by negative 5 will give us negative 243. Since positive divided by negative is negative. So this is negative 243. So since we already have cancelled out the negative 5 here, 
what remains would be the negative 3 quantity raised to n minus 1. Now this time, since this is negative 243 is equal to negative 3 raised to n minus 1, this side of the equation, the right side of the equation is now an exponential expression. So what we need to do to the left side of the equation, which is negative 243, we need to express this side here to exponential expression in such a way that the base shall be similar to the base at the right side of the equation. Since this is negative 3, so we need to express negative 243 to the base negative 3. So if our base is negative 3, if we are going to express this one to exponential, so what must be the exponent of negative 3 to get negative 243? So if we are going to express negative 243 to the base negative 3, the exponent must be 5. That means we are going to multiply negative 3 5 times. That means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. That is 5 times. That would give us negative 243. Then we just simply copy the right side of the equation, which is negative 3 raised to n minus 1. Now, since we already have the same base, which is negative 3, we can now equate the exponent. So, our exponent at the left side of the equation shall be 5, equals at the right side of the equation is n minus 1. So, by using addition property of equality, to eliminate the negative 1 here, we need to add 1 at the right side of the equation, and of course, we also add 1 at the left side of the equation. In this case, we can cancel out the negative 1 and 1, and we add, that would give us 6 equals n. So 1 plus 5 is 6 equals n, which is our unknown, or we can have n is equal to 6. So therefore, this is the sixth term, meaning 1215 is the sixth term for the sequence negative 5, 15, and negative 40. Now let's proceed to our next example, which is example number 4. We are given our first term, which is 4, and a sub 7, which is 256, and we are told to find for the common ratio. Using this formula, we substitute this given to find the common ratio. So we have a sub n, in this case we have a sub 7, so our a sub 7 is 256 is equal to our first term is of course 4 times our common ratio is unknown. So we need to write R because that is unknown. Then our N, since we are going to solve for the 7 terms, so our N is 7, we copy minus 1. This time we simplify, we copy 256 is equal to 4 times the R raised to 7 minus 1 is 6. This time, since we have the coefficient 4 here, so to eliminate this 4, we divide both sides of the equation by 4. We divide here by 4. We cancel this out. So 256 divided by 4 will give us 64 equals, since we already have canceled out the 4 here, so what remains is R raised to 6. Now this time, we need to express 64 in exponential form in such a way that we will have a similar exponent to the right side of the equation. So we have to find a number in such a way that when raised to 6 will give us 64. In this case, we have 2. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 64. So if we are going to express 64 in such a way that we can have an exponent 6, so this can be expressed as 2 raised to 6. 2 raised to 6 is 64. Then we equate that to r raised to 6. This time, they already have the same exponent, which is 6, so we equate now the base. So our r, therefore, is equal to 2. So our common ratio, given the first term and the seventh term, is 2. Now, let's have this last example. We are told to write the first five terms of a geometric sequence. If the first term is negative 3, and the common ratio is negative 2. 
I already have presented an example like this in my previous video, but I will be presenting to you another example. We are told to find the first five terms. So our first term is given, which is a sub 1, which is negative 3. And our common ratio is negative 2. So to find the first five terms, since we are given already the first term, which is negative 3, we just simply multiply negative 3 to the common ratio, which is negative 2. So that would give us positive 6. To get the third term, we do the same process. 6 multiplied to negative 2 will give us negative 12. And the same, negative 12 times negative 2 will give us positive 24. And positive 24 times negative 2 will give us negative 48. So the first five terms of a geometric sequence given the first term of negative 3 and a common ratio of negative 2 are negative 3, 6, negative 2, negative 4, and negative 48. Okay, that's it. I hope you have learned something from this video. Please do not forget to subscribe. So for now, thank you and God bless.